So if you're coming here from my other video, this is this, this is the epilogue. Just some comments I wanted to make because I tweeted this thing out yesterday, included in the video I did on my main channel. I said, Sam Cedar will not be renewed by MSNBC following campaign to highlight a past tweet in part by Cernovich. Sam tried using the same tactics to smear Mike. However, there is no one to fire him and his fans don't care, which is true. And what I did include, is I followed this up saying, you can see the partisan hysteria in response to this tweet, the point of which is that Sam can be fired and Mike can't. And immediately, I mean, just look at this, just all this, all this nonsense. This guy, Matt, was said, I, I was equivocating between the two in my post and add this to your history of lunching with Nazis and it gets people riled up. Add this to lunching with Nazis. Yeah, because I'm not on either side. It's strange how the left thinks that by me saying Mike Cernovich's fans don't care about his rape statements that I'm somehow defending them. That's how tribal and partisan this is. This is the point I'm trying to make. I don't think Mike was right to go after Sam. I don't think Sam was right to respond by posting past things Mike has done. They're just throwing mud at each other. Sam made a video where he said he's being attacked by Nazis. He made a GoFundMe where he said he's being attacked by Nazis. Mike Cernovich, who was leading this campaign, is not a Nazi. And I got into an argument with this guy, Matthew Forrester, has a bunch of replies, I eventually just stopped, but he eventually gets into how the, it's not a misrepresentation to call Mike Cernovich a Nazi. Well, Mike has a mixed race kid, so that, that is a bit disingenuous to say he's a Nazi because one of the key tenets of Nazism in Germany was racial purity. The Aryan race, it's like, what Nazis did? And to say that someone like Cernovich is a Nazi, it's just not true. Sorry, it's, it's, it's hyperbolic. It is smearing him to make a GoFundMe, to make a video, to call Mike Cernovich a Nazi. It's not true. It's hy hyperbolic to, uh, yeah, you get the point. And then going down, it's not just the left, right? So the, the, the partisan behavior of this is you even have people on the right who are defending Mike Cernovich's actions when this is bad for free speech, this leads us down a bad path. I mean, obviously, if you came from my, my, my main channel, you, you understand what I'm, what I'm talking about. You get people saying that, why is this what I'm bringing up? You know what, man? I don't, I don't agree with Mike going after Sam because of this tweet. And as Mike puts it, this is not, it's, not his, it's not unique to, to Mike. Mike didn't make up this tactic. Other people have been doing this to people on the right, digging up previous posts and writings. And it's, it's something that's happened throughout the history of politics. I mean, Bernie Sanders got smeared because he had that, uh, he, he wrote a paper about women like, you know, I, I don't know the specifics of it, but Bernie wrote some paper. Ron Paul had the same thing happen to him. This has been going on forever. And it, it, it is what it is. And so that's why I bring it up. Because when I see Mike Cernovich doing this, I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. It's a political tactic. When I see people on the right, uh, on the left doing the same thing to the right, I'm like, yeah, it's a political tactic. But you have people who are, are questioning why I'm bringing this up and why I'm not coming to the defense of Sam Cedar. Because I think Sam's also disingenuous. Keep in mind, uh, for a lot of people who don't know this, Sam's actually the first personality to ever comment on my work during Occupy Wall Street. He made a video talking about me and then actually had me go on his podcast, The Majority Report, which I don't think anyone really cared. Like a thousand people watched it. But you can see this guy, neo fellow marxist Omega squared. Is that the Omega symbol? I can't tell. Is that right there? How was Mike smeared? Mike lied about the context of Sam's tweet. Where are the lies about Cernovich? Who said either of them lied? I mean, Mike pointed out that this was Sam Cedar making a joke about rape. That's not a lie. That's true. Sam Cedar was making a joke about rape. It was meant to be uh, criticizing the left. The, the, con the, the motive for why he made the joke doesn't matter. The fact is he made a joke, it offended people, and MSNBC gave him the boot. But this is how they're framing it. How is Mike smeared? Uh, because Sam started highlighting things that Mike had done in the past. If you're going to call what Mike did to Sam smearing, then what Sam d did to Mike in turn is smearing. They're both just throwing mud at each other. The, you, know what, you know why I tweeted this out, this, this, the main tweet, which is uh, Sam tried using the same tactics is because Sam made a video calling Mike a Nazi, and I'm like, oh, come on. That is not a defense of your actions. If Sam wanted to survive this, he should have said, look, you know, I apologize for, for saying something that was considered offensive. It was actually meant to be in defense of those who, who were, you know, it, it, was, it was meant to be critical of those who were defending Roman Polanski. And in, in, in a sense, it was defending those who were the victims of this kind of assault. 
That's what he should have done. Instead, what does he do? He starts saying it's the Nazis are coming for him. It's all about the Nazis and the alt-right and that it's, it's, it's taken out of context. Oh, just apologize. Just say, yeah, okay, you know what? We all make mistakes. And I think Sam's response to this contributed to uh, the problem. It made the situation bigger. More people started getting involved. More people started highlighting what would have been done and what Sam had said. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if Sam was trying to criticize people or not. He made a joke. Was that joke offensive? To some people, yes. Did MSNBC get mad about it? Yes, they did. End of story. Do you guys remember that woman, I think, uh, Justine Sacco, I think her name was? Let me see if I can pull this up. Yes, Justine Sacco. One stupid tweet blew up Justine Sacco's life. She's the woman who was flying to South Africa, and she tweeted, Going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding, I'm white. And everyone said she was racist, and her phone was off while she was flying. The tweet goes viral. Sam Biddle, who's at The Intercept, was the one who, uh, he, he retweeted it, making it go crazy. And everyone started attacking this woman for being racist. Apparently, she was making a joke about how we don't care about the black community in South Africa, how they're the ones with AIDS and white people are fine. She was actually essentially making a privilege, uh, she was making a joke about her white privilege. It didn't matter. It doesn't matter she's making a joke. The joke was bad. She lost her job. And this was one of the worst cases. I mean, this woman, Justine Sacco, is not a public figure. She was a random nobody. And sure enough, this just this destroyed her life. Essentially, I'm, I, I feel like she's probably fine now, but you can just see how people responded. They they went at her. She had only 170 Twitter followers. No one replied. But Sam Biddle retweeted this. At least it's reported Sam Biddle. I don't want to accuse him of doing something to do, but uh, some one of these stories said it was Sam Biddle, and and that's that's the end of it. So I guess the question is, at least what I was asking in my other video, have we evolved? Have, has the left in this country decided, you know what, that was wrong to go after her for that stupid joke. And now they're trying to repent or they've, they've come to their senses that people should be, be able to make jokes? Or is this just more tribalism? You know what, Sam Cedar is on the left. He criticizes the Nazis. He calls people Nazis. Therefore, we must defend him. We must defend him because MSNBC was misled. It's also kind of insulting to the intelligence of those who work at MSNBC, as if they don't understand that Sam Cedar made a joke, as if they didn't do a quick Google search or look at some of the tweets and see that, yes, Mike Cernovich led this campaign and he's trying to damage the reputation of Sam Cedar. You think the people who work at MSNBC are really stupid and just can't see that? I think it's insane. Anyway, there's a lot more comments and the, the, the partisan behavior is left and right. I mean, look, you got Gustavo Gonzalez saying, Look at these horrible things that Mike Cernovich said. Yeah, I think these things by Mike Cernovich are really horrible. What does he say? It's, it's also anti-rape game. After abusing a girl, I almost Im always immediately send a text and save her reply. You can't rape the willing. Sure. Cernovich's statement's very offensive. I'm, I'm not into that personally, but I'm not making an argument about morality. I don't care about these people's morals. This is an issue of Mike Cernovich highlighting a past tweet from Cedar to discredit him, and Sam Cedar then pulling up these old posts. And people are mad at me saying, I'm defending Mike for not calling him out for this. That's not the point I'm making. The right is attacking the left, left, left is attacking the right. They do this all the time, hi highlighting past behavior. And they are not mad. They're not mad because Sam Cedar is losing his job and Mike isn't. They're mad that I'm not coming out and saying, Mike was wrong. He was wrong to do this. If the left is going to do it and the right's going to do it, what do, you, what, what do you want me to do about it? Look at this guy. Is Tim truly dense or just lying? We'll never know. You see the reactions to this? Am I dense? Am I dense? Why? Because I pointed out accurately that Mike Cernovich can't be fired. When I said, Sam, Sam Cedar will not be renewed. Sam tried using the same tactics to smear Mike. It's, it's the same tactic. Find past post, highlight them. End of story. You can see all of these people are just partisans. It is absolutely crazy. And now you've got people saying the morality is the issue. They're, they're, they're turning a factual argument, argument into a moral argument. The facts are simple. The tactic of highlighting someone's past in, in, to, in, in, an, in an effort to make them look bad only works if there's someone who can fire you. There's no one to fire Mike. Anyway, I could probably rant on this stuff for a really long time, but thanks for coming and hanging out on my second channel. If you're not familiar because you found this channel inadvertently, my main channel is youtube.com slash timcast. Subscribe to this channel if you like these videos. 
a lot of these are just, you know, when, I, when I'm on Twitter and there's a lot of activity, I'll make comments about this stuff. And usually the, it, this stuff doesn't matter to the world, right? The, the first channel, it's more about the, the bigger story and the ramifications. And then I made this channel because sometimes I just want to rag about some random Twitter user or rag on some random Twitter user who doesn't understand what's going on. And instead of engaging in the Twitter drama, I can just make another video and have another channel where I address some of this commentary. So, you know, you can see some of this stuff is me. I, I, I get rather offended personally when people keep referring to mixed race families as Nazi families, but it is what it is. The sirens are getting loud. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.